What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, I want to share with you a fascinating clip of Elon Musk telling you why Bitcoin will never be the cryptocurrency to transform our financial system. I want to break down this video and actually show you why what he's saying paves the way for a digital asset like XRP to perfectly fit what he thinks is needed for our future financial system. I think this video is just going to make you all the more confident that this entire time the Bitcoin maxis have been completely wrong and the people who have been following and understanding XRP since day one have always known where this market was headed. In this video, I want to break down for you one of the most important things you need to understand as an XRP investor, and that is why XRP is different than any other digital asset out there. Like always, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's only going to take you a second or two, and it's really going to help me out so much. Also, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP or the Flare token, make sure to check out my favorite exchange uphold down in the description of this video. With that said though, let's jump right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So I want to start this video off and share with you this fascinating clip of Elon Musk because honestly you probably haven't seen it before. Most of the social media coverage of the cryptocurrency industry is really dominated by Bitcoin maxis and they will do everything in their power to hide a video like this from you. Bitcoin maxis know that they need to control a narrative for Bitcoin to stay relevant and that's because Bitcoin simply doesn't have the tech to keep up with the rest of the cryptocurrency sector. Now don't get me wrong. Bitcoin really does have some things that are fundamentally special about it, mostly it being the first cryptocurrency ever. It's always going to be some kind of digital collectible, but the idea that Bitcoin will ever be some financial instrument that will completely transform our financial system is completely misguided. And it's not just me saying this, it's not just people in the XRP community saying this, one of the smartest engineers in history is literally going to tell you this exact thing. And like I said, this is something Bitcoin maxis would never want you to see. They try to hide the truth because it destroys their own narrative. So with that said, let me play you with this video and then I want to break down why what Elon Musk is saying right here actually plays in perfectly to what XRP can do to completely transform our financial system. Because nothing he says right here, attacking Bitcoin, blows up the XRP thesis at all. Listen up to this. Just, just think of money as, as a database for resource allocation um, across time and space. And, um, and then what, what, what system, uh, it, it is what, what, in what form should that, that database or data system, what, what, what would be most effective? Now, the, the, there's a, there is a fundamental issue with, um, say Bitcoin in its current form, uh, in that it's the transaction volume is very limited. Um, and uh, the latency, it's, it's the, the latency for, for a properly confirmed transaction is too, is too long, much longer than you'd like. So it's not, it's actually not great from um, a transaction volume standpoint or a latency standpoint. Um, uh, so it is perhaps useful as, as to, so, to solve an aspect of the money database problem uh, which is the sort of store of wealth or an, an, an accounting of relative obligations, I suppose. Um, but it is not useful as a currency, as a day-to-day -day currency. So let's start breaking this down. And I actually want to start off at the point where he says Bitcoin will not work as a currency. And the reason why I want to start here is I actually think there's some misconceptions in the XRP community, how XRP can be used as a currency one day. So the thing I want to start out with is in our society, people will simply not accept a currency that moves up and down. No one will understand it. People like me and you, we are cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Some of us will say, oh, who cares if it moves up and down? You're still using the same unit of account. At the end of the day, guys, people who don't understand complex topics will never wrap their head around that. They will never accept paying for something with a volatile currency. They simply will not have it. I am telling you, they will never wrap their head around it. So currencies like Bitcoin and XRP will never work as traditional currencies. People need currencies to be stable. They need them to be pegged to one. It doesn't even need to be pegged to a certain monetary system like a dollar, a yen, a peso. They literally just need it to be one because that's how their brains are programmed. So with that said, some of you might be thinking, so XRP doesn't work as a currency either? No, it's not supposed to. And that's what we need to understand here. 
The digital asset itself was never supposed to be the currency. It was supposed to be the liquidity for the platform in which the currency would be built on. So what feature does XRP that Bitcoin doesn't? Well, you can create stable coins on the XRP ledger. And these stable coins are perfect for currencies. They move lightning fast. They have infinite liquidity backed by XRP, which can scale to whatever price you need it to be to be more liquidity. And it solves all the latency issues and the transaction volume issues associated with Bitcoin. You can't build a stable coin on Bitcoin. It simply wouldn't work. It doesn't scale. It doesn't have the programmability to build a stable coin on it. And there's a whole bunch of other features that aren't even worth me listing right here. But if you can't even wrap your head around why people wouldn't want to use Bitcoin as a currency, then you're never going to understand why XRP works so much better. XRP and the XRP ledger are really a platform. XRP is the liquidity for the XRPL platform, which a real currency could be built on. A currency that people would actually want to use. A currency that your grandma could use without actually knowing she's using XRP. She would just use it and all the stuff that is needed to happen on the back end would just happen. The reason Bitcoin Maxis are so scared of a system like this is because it does require a little more centralization. So when your grandma uses her currency to buy a sweatshirt at the store, she's not going to care if, oh, technically she's not doing a transaction on the base layer of XRP and instead she's using a more centralized solution that ultimately routes transactions through the native layer, but technically the top layer she's using is a little more centralized. She's not going to care. She's going to care, hey, did that transaction settle quickly? Hey, did this transaction go through? Hey, did it fail? And if the transaction goes through fast and she doesn't have to think about it anymore, then she's happy. And she's not going to want to use a currency that halfway through the transaction, suddenly the thing is 50% cheaper. That doesn't make sense either. The fact of the matter is the masses want things simple. Most of the masses don't actually care about the technology being used. They just want it to work. The people who care about how the technology is being used and fundamentally how it works understand that most of these technologies are the platforms that real currencies will be built on. Now, this is something Bitcoin maxis cannot wrap their head around. They are convinced every single day you're going to go to the store and spend 0.000001% of a Bitcoin. The cashier is going to wait there for 10 minutes as that Bitcoin transaction goes through and you're going to pay a $15 fee on it. No one with a brain thinks that's going to happen. And that's why central banks all over the world are working with Ripple. They understand, hey, we're not going to tell our constituents that they have to use XRP as their currency for now on. No one wants to hold a digital asset that's going to go up or down 50% in a year. It doesn't make any sense. But hey, we don't actually have to use XRP as our currency for our country. Why don't we just build a stablecoin on the XRP ledger? We get all the scaling features of XRP. XRP is used to back the stablecoin in the sense that it's the liquidity for the entire ledger. And then boom, we have a currency that's pegged to a dollar. It's backed by the government so people have confidence in it. And we get all the tech of the XRP ledger. And just so you know, XRP still has a use case in that system. The more transactions happening on the XRP ledger, the more liquidity that's going to be needed. And XRP is the liquidity for that system. Bitcoin maxis are so behind on this. They still think that you're going to go to the store and some country is going to say, OK, there's there's no more currency for our nation. Everyone, you just have to use a Bitcoin. And sorry if it's really confusing based on the fact that obviously no one can even afford a whole Bitcoin. Everyone's going to have fractions of a fraction of a fraction of a Bitcoin. I don't have to go on. That's never going to happen. Bitcoin can't even scale for that to be a realistic thing to talk about. But the Bitcoin maxis want to drive this narrative home. And what you need to understand is that fundamentally, it doesn't make any sense. Elon Musk told you right there, the latency isn't there, it's too expensive, the transaction volume isn't there, but most importantly, it fundamentally doesn't have the programmability to actually build a system that would work. The reason the central banks are going to Ripple is because they know the XRP ledger fits their needs. They know that the XRP ledger already has enough liquidity on it to start building some of these platforms. And they know it has the history of it being up and running for almost as long as Bitcoin without a single failure to say, okay, wow, this thing really works. And I think it's important to say this isn't the most technical video of mine you're ever going to watch. And there's a lot of very broad statements made with some assumptions. But this is the way most people look at cryptocurrency. Most of the big institutions that are going to be adopting these things are not going to hyper focus on these tiny little details. They want to know, does this thing work? Does it work efficiently? And they're not going to micro focus on a bunch of things we do in the XRP community. 
So the last thing I really want to make clear is why do Bitcoin maxis attack the XRP ledger so often? And at the end of the day, it's because XRP is doing everything they wanted Bitcoin to do. And if you take a look at this, and I think this is probably the most telling thing out there. So often you hear Bitcoin Maxi say the XRP ledger is centralized. But the fact of the matter is, and this might be one of the most shocking things you have ever seen if you have not seen this, Satoshi Nakamoto himself said in 2009 that Ripple is the only system that does something with trust besides concentrate it into a single server. When he says Ripple here, he's talking about the XRP ledger. It was before it was named the XRP ledger. Satoshi himself literally admitted that XRP is doing something transformational in the space in regards to decentralization. Bitcoin Maxis literally praise every single thing Satoshi said except this one statement. They literally ignore it because they know it disproves their entire narrative for why XRP shouldn't work. They say it's centralized when Satoshi himself admitted it wasn't, and this is all you need to know to show that Bitcoin Maxis really are scared of XRP. They ignore the facts, they ignore what Satoshi said himself to try to discredit the innovation XRP is really making behind the scenes. But at the end of the day, we are 10 steps ahead. We know why XRP is so much better and so much more critical to our future financial system, and it's for all the reasons we talked about in this video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really means so much. And for now, Mikkel out.